Otterbach is a German prosthetics company founded in 1919 after World War I. The company first fabricated prosthesis for war victims and then for Paralympians. They are now creating bionic exoskeletons for everyday use. Their wearable technology protects workers in various industries automotive, railway, aviation, shipyards, construction, and logistics. Studies have shown that employees in logistics miss up to 32 days of work per year due to workplace injuries. This has resulted in an economic loss of over $50 billion annually. I recently visited Autobox facility in Austin, Texas to try their pegs or back and shoulder exoskeletons. These are purely mechanical or passive devices that do not use an external power source. The PEX or back is fairly easy to put on. It has two shoulder straps, a hip belt, chest strap, and two thigh straps. It weighs only 4.5 kilograms or 10 pounds. When custom fit to your body, it takes less than 20 seconds to put on and take off. It fits both men and women and is individually adaptable to small, medium, large, and extra large sizes. It is made of various materials like aluminum, titanium, carbon, and plastic. It is lightweight and unobtrusive. A mechanical clutch at the hip level can be turned to differentiate between walking and lifting. You can also adjust the degree of support for different loads. It works on a biomechanical principle. When you bend over to pick up an object, load is taken off at the shoulder and transferred to the thigh and the legs via bars. Energy is stored in an expander spring. It absorbs force when bending and releases it when lifting. I felt an energy boost when straightening up. It also corrected my posture and kept my spine straight. When I turned the hip clutch off and lifted one of those 20-pound boxes, I felt a big difference in the weight. Since it is only mechanical and not battery-powered, it works without an external power source and it doesn't need to be charged. It can provide relief of up to 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. It protects the lower back and spine, prevents injury to muscles and discs, and reduces stress and fatigue. All the fabric pieces are removable, washable, and reusable. Because of the custom fit, it cannot be easily shared between workers. Companies can rent three PAEX or back systems for six weeks for $6,900. I can see how this exoskeleton would be extremely helpful to workers that have to repeatedly lift heavy loads, like airport baggage loaders, delivery workers, and nurses. One of my family members is a nurse who has severe back pain from years of lifting patients. This PAEX so or back system could have prevented her health issues. Next, I tried on the PAEX so or shoulder. This one was easier and more intuitive than the first exoskeleton. It has two shoulder straps, one hip strap, a chest strap and two arm supports. After unhooking the magnetic enclosure, I pulled the arm cuff down and strapped it tight. This transfers a portion of the arm weight to the pelvis through a hip belt. A support bar and arm bar are connected through a hinge joint. A passive spring actuator generates support torque in this joint. The lack of rigid components allows you to freely move your arms and upper body. It weighs only 1.9 kilograms or 5 pounds. It can also be adjusted to different body sizes. Raised arms are held up by an innovative expander tech. It is best for overhead work as it relieves strain on the shoulder joints and upper arms. This drill felt almost weightless when I held it upwards. It can be used during neurosurgical operations for overhead work on assembly lines, painting ceilings, sanding, drywalling, electrical installation, and plaster construction. Just like the PEX or shoulder, it is a purely mechanical or passive system that doesn't require any external power source. Audubok also makes PEX or thumb that protects the tip of the thumb against mechanical influences. It comes in seven different sizes and costs $450 or 400 euros. Per exo wrist bridges and protects wrists when holding welding equipment and installing generators. It costs $170 or 150 euros. 
Pex or soft back supports the lower spine when standing during extended assembly tasks. It costs two hundred and eighty dollars or two hundred and fifty euros. Pex or neck relieves the neck region and cervical spine. It also costs two hundred and eighty dollars or two hundred and fifty euros. When I posted a photo of the sexoskeleton on the YouTube community page, many people were skeptical and said that it might allow assembly line workers or Amazon packages to be exploited. I'm not as cynical about it because I think it has a lot of potential in various industries. It can reduce workplace injuries and insurance claims. It can improve productivity and help us transition to robotic automation. The two systems that I tried are cheaper and lighter than active battery-powered exoskeletons, but they are not as powerful. Some souped-up exoskeletons by other manufacturers can make a hundred pounds feel as light as five pounds. Another disadvantage is the clunkiness of the pyxo back. It feels awkward at first and takes a while to get used to. The pyxo shoulder has rods that can snag on fabric and wires. I hope they're able to make it more discreet in the future. I was also told that there's a huge psychological barrier to overcome. While a disabled person is grateful for any improvement to their condition, an able-bodied person despises anything that impedes natural movement. Exoskeletons seem cool and futuristic, but their novelty can wear off very quickly if they are a hindrance. Lastly, these exoskeletons are not used by top-level executives; they are used by people on the lower levels of the food chain. It's not my intention to insult or offend anyone. I'm just being realistic. Companies are not likely to invest thousands of dollars on grunt workers, even though their work is vital. That being said. Hilti has teamed up with Autobock on their Exo O1 shoulder support exoskeleton to reduce physical strain on construction workers. Overall, I'm really excited to see more players in the construction industry embrace this technology. A big thank you to Samuel Reimer and Alex who organized my visit to the Autobock offices in Austin. Let me know what you think about the future of this product in the comments below. I'll link my Patreon page in the description if you can support me and really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.